All right, so uh, this question, the second question, is a little bit more involved, but again, uh, if you just think about it, it shouldn't really be that hard. So the question is as follows. 100 grams of water are mixed with 150 grams of another fluid with a density of 790 kilograms per cubic meter. What is the specific volume of the resulting mixture, assuming that the volumes are additive and the mixture is homogeneous? So uh, those last two things are what is going to allow us to solve the problem uh, according to what I'm about to do. Um, so basically, what you want to do is, well, we know that the specific volume, right, which is usually denoted by this little script V here, is going to be 1 over uh, the inverse of the density. Right, and so if the volumes are additive and the mixture is homogeneous, meaning that it's just you know, uh, it's the same at any uh, at one point as it is at any other point in the mixture. That the we can calculate the average since it's it's a mixture, the average sp uh, specific volume. So this is average. It's going to be equal to one over, or the inverse of the average density. Right, and so. How would we calculate the average density? Well, we need to know that, or we should know that, density is just uh, mass per volume, right? And so if we want the average density, right, so this row average, we know that, um, well, this would be equal to the average mass divided by the, uh, the total volume, right? total. So we know that the volume is additive, so we can calculate this, and then ultimately we can get the um, the average mass, um, or the total mass, I should say. Um, this is total, and this is, uh, this is also total. I think that would be a better way to put, of uh, putting it. Uh, but it is the average density, because it is a mixture, it's not the total density. Um, so we can calculate the total mass, the total volume, and then basically uh, based on this path of going basically this way and then going this way and then this way, um, or I guess you really don't need to go that way. Just uh, when you get here, we'll be able to um, calculate the average specific volume based on the average uh, density, right? So let's get rid of this stuff and let's start. So we need to calculate the we need to calculate the average mass, or the total mass and the total volume, right? So we know that the volumes are additive. So how do we get the volumes? Well, we know we have 100 kilograms, uh, excuse me, 100 grams of water, right? So this is um, 100 grams. So this would be 100 grams of water. But you know what? Since we're going to deal with its density, which is uh, most commonly in kilograms per cubic meter, I'm going to convert this to kilograms. So this is obviously 0 0.1 kilograms of water. Right? And from this, we want the volume, right? So we know that the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So we're going to multiply this by... Multiply this by... Um, well, we want uh, volume, right? So we're going to put the cubic meters on top and we know that for every cubic meter there is 1000 kilograms of water and that is a W water and so based on the dimensional analysis we know that this is going to cancel with this and then we know that it's going to be uh, 0.1 divided by 1000 and so this is going to be equal to uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 4 meters cubed of water. Now this other substance, we have, let's pick a different color here, pick green, I like green. Um, we have 150 grams of this uh, other, other, whatever it is. And so again, just for uh, the ease of the calculation, I'm going to convert this to kilograms, so this is 0 0.150 kilograms of uh, the other, other, and this is going to be multiplied by its density. Again, just uh, inverting the density here, we know for every 
cubic meter, we have, uh, let's see, this density is 790 kilograms of this other whatever it is. And so if you do the math, you will get that, uh, uh, let's see, 150 grams is going to be corresponding or correspond to 1.9 times 10 to the negative 4 cubic meters of the other. There we go. So now we know that, because we're told, that the volumes are additive, we can just add these two up. And so obviously if you just look at this, you'll get that the uh, V total, which is one of the parts that we need to calculate the average density, is going to be 2.9 times 10 to the negative 4. This is cubic meters. Now just, just for my own little weirdness thing. I don't like dealing with really small numbers. It's just a little thing I have. So what I'm going to do is really quickly, I'm going to convert this to cubic centimeters, right? So we know that for every, there are, let's see, there are a million. So one, well, we can just write it this way. One times 10 to the sixth cubic centimeters for every cubic meter, right? And so naturally, again, looking at the dimensions, these cancel and you multiply this by this and you get that the total volume is also in cubic centimeters, 290 centimeters cubed. Now to me that this, this number is actually better than this. It's just easier. I don't have to write times 10 to the whatever. It's just, uh, it saves time. All right, so now let's deal with the mass. Now the mass is really easy. Um, we're dealing with grams here. We have 100 grams of water. We have 150 grams of the other, whatever that is. And so we know that the total mass, right, M total is going to be equal to, well, 100 plus 150 is 250 grams, right? So the average density is going to be equal to the the mass divided by the volume. So in this case, the mass is 250 grams divided by 290 cubic centimeters. And that is going to be equal to Obviously, it's going to be less than one. Um, I get 0 0.86 grams per cubic centimeter. All right. And so naturally, now we have the average density of this mixture. And so we can easily calculate the uh, specific volume, knowing that the specific volume is going to be equal to the inverse of the density, and so therefore this is going to be equal to 1 divided by 0 0.8, that's an 8, yes, I can write, there we go, 0 0.86 grams per centimeter cubed, and again, this is um, where we want the inverse, and so therefore the dimensions of this are going to flip, and so it's going to become, uh, it's going to go from grams per set cubic centimeter to cubic centimeters per gram, and that makes sense because it's a specific volume, uh, if you think about it. And so therefore, we get that the, that's an AVG, average specific volume is going to be 1.16 centimeters cubed per gram. All right, and so this is your answer. Again, a little more involved. You have to do a whole bunch of converting, but the whole idea is that you can add the volumes and the masses and get an average uh, density, and then from that we can calculate the uh, specific volume. All right, so if you get a different answer than this, just make sure that the units are the same and you know just convert it to what I have to check if you get the correct answer, assuming that mine is correct. I'm pretty sure it is. So thanks for watching this video, and we will see you all uh, in the next video.